I am super excited. We got a brand new, or I got, for me it's a brand new 2016 uh, Rockwood Extreme Sports Edition. It's a pop-up camper that you can take off-road. It's solar capable. It's got it's got a built-in shower. It's got a toilet. It has outside showers. You can put a kayak on it. It's got mounts for a mountain bike. It has a little sleeps, I think it sleeps eight. With It's got a refrigerator in it. And then I mentioned it tows me on the Jeep. So I'm just so excited that I found that. I didn't know this thing existed. It was on Facebook. Uh, found a couple that was moving and they they loved it, but they they want to go overseas. And so they're, uh, they were getting rid of it. And so I'm excited to, to pick it up. I'll show you this little video of me the first time setting this thing up now. And so now I got the microphone on. So let me transition and we'll start a little video here. So as I mentioned, it's a, it's a Forest River Rockwood Extreme Sports Edition. Here's a picture. That's the Jeep towing it. I had to switch out the four pin tow package and put a seven pin connector on there. Was a little rig and roll with it, but not too bad. The uh, folks here it was Auto Graphics uh, here in uh, Omaha put the tow package in and they ended up, um, there was a slight problem up front, but they, they took it right back and fixed it. Just had to get a 12 volt line off my battery. Um, at first my car wouldn't turn off, so that was an initial problem, but they fixed it and they were pretty awesome about doing it. The uh, so I wanted to set this thing up today. There's not supposed to be any rain, so it'll stay dry. And that way tomorrow I can start going through all the different systems. And I haven't set it up by myself. Like I watched the owners do it, but but I haven't done it myself. So I don't have it, I, you know, I don't, I don't know by memory yet what to do. I mean, parking it took me a little bit because I got the stabilizer bars too. So that took me a little bit because my driveway's on an angle and then I think next time I'm just gonna not um, only gonna take off the stabilizer bars at a level and then like get in my driveway, um, just tow it without the stabilizing package. One of the first things I did was I wanted to take out the front porch because I hadn't ever seen that before, and and I knew it had to be unzipped and taken out. Also, I just want to clean it up if you know, go ahead and maybe put some sun protection and stuff on it if that's a thing uh, I don't even know yet. So I'm gonna do that. And so I took it out. So I don't know um, exactly how to set it up. It's super simple. You just pull out these aluminum poles and you straighten them, but I didn't know that. So it took me probably 20 minutes or 30 minutes to set it up the first time, standard. Also, I didn't look at the DVD before I, I started. I was like, I just figured this out. Um, I probably should have looked at the DVD before I started, but that's cheating, isn't it? You can see right here, I'm cranking it just a little bit. There's an auto, um, there's a auto crank on it. It's basically a cable. It's on a winch. It, it pops it up for you, and then just the last maybe six inches, you put the crank in, and you just crank it up the last six inches or so, and it cranks right up. The uh, there's a there's a green guide cable, and when it's nice and tight, you know you it's reached the top. So what you see me here doing is trying to figure out how this porch thing works. And, and so I, I get it. I'm kind of worried though, as I'm setting it up because it's, it's old school, like the aluminum tent. I guess you still use them today. They're aluminum, they're, they're just hollow aluminum. And I remember as a kid, I'd always bend these things. So I'm, I'm worried as I'm setting this up, you know, I'm gonna bend one of these things and then, all right, now I've got to get a new aluminum pole. So I didn't want to do that. So I'm being a little bit extra cautious as I'm setting, setting this whole thing up. The, the uh, of course it falls down a couple times. They don't know what I'm doing. The my neighbors are watching me do this. They're all wondering what's going on in my front yard, so, but that's okay. The I, this way the next when I do have to set this up, once I get a camping spot, I'll look super smooth. There won't be any any uh, any hiccups because I now I know what I'm doing with all these mistakes I've made. When I, when I set it up, I was thinking when you set it up, like both those poles would just sit like a TP or something, and that was just overthinking it. One pole just goes straight back along the the I don't, the edge of the the canvas, and the other 
So you get one, you get two of the aluminum poles are going to go straight back along the canvas, and you just have two verticals. You have two horizontal, and you have two vertical. They're they're at, and they're they should be at ninety degrees from each other. And so I, I kind of figured this out eventually, and then um, I was like, all right, I, I got to I probably need to lower it down so I can, I can reach the height up there, which is good. So now I know, like, all right, next time I go out there, don't sit, pull it all the way up until you get the porch set up. With, with the poles otherwise bring a ladder you know if you have a little step stool or something so that's what i'm doing now you see me back on the winch lowering it so i get it down low enough so i can so i can set this thing up there's like little there's a little black shoe that you take the pole and you put it in there and once the pole's in the shoe it it just gets nice and tight along that edge there and you can uh, it makes it really easy to set up. Um, I figured the porch would be kind of nice when it's a nice day out. You can just kind of hang out, you know, pull some chairs up and, and hang out. There's a little outside barbecue that you can set up too. So you can barbecue and have a little little front porch, which is cool for a little pop-up. I mean, the th again, this thing toes right behind a Jeep Wrangler. So the Jeeps are rated at 3,500 pounds tow capacity. And so uh, with 350 pounds on the tongue weight and I thought I would have to go with something a lot smaller with, and with these pop-up tents it's gives me it's gonna give me a lot of room plus uh, meets the weight and I can carry a little bit of cargo I think it's I think my dry weight is maybe 23 or 2800 pounds so I have a few hundred pounds to play with uh, on a tow wise and and so I can get my gear on there the bike you know, the bike's probably what 10 20 pounds and then kayak if I want that's probably another I don't know what a kayak weighs what about 50 pounds and then clothes some food stock the fridge so I should be fine I should be I should have plenty of weight no in front of the pop-up has a little space for some toys because I'm a because I got the Jeep Wrangler I'm not going to be putting anything heavy on there so I'm not going to be exploring getting the ATV with this this is more what I'm thinking, I can, I can bring like mountain bike, uh, kayak, maybe skis. I don't know if I want to go pop. It's got the furnace is supposed to work phenomenally, so I can take it up. Um, I don't know about towing though in the snow. That might be a little bit scary. So I'm not sure if I'll do that or not. But it that would be a easy. That would be kind of fun to take up and and camp maybe in the uh, in the winter. You know, to go. Go hit some hit the mountains. I, I'll have to figure out the. I don't know. Is anyone towed in the the snow? I, that just seems. I guess the extra weight would would weigh you down enough that you would get more traction in the snow. I'll have to think that one through. I towed a U-Haul once. We were um I was towing and we went out to Taos, and as we we're going over the pass there, it started snowing. It, it was uh it was about it was this fall and it kind of snowed and. It didn't do too bad. It was actually not even the Jeep though we were driving in. It was a, a Hyundai sedan and it was towing a U-Haul trailer behind it. Did okay, did okay in the snow as long as you don't you know slam on the brakes. And since this is off-road capable, maybe it'll work. What you see me doing now is I grab those, it, they're, they're, they're the golden and they're, they're golden and they're support rods. So once you raise it up, you put these caddy corner and that way, if the winch fails for whatever reason, you've got these two extra uh, support beams on the RV, so the roof doesn't collapse on you if the if the cable, which is good. You don't want, that way you're not smushed, so uh, you're not smushed inside. I'm still messing around here with the the front porch, as you can see. I got it up, so I kind of know. Like, I had the general gist, but I'm like, I'm just not. I'm just not figuring out because I'm thinking maybe I'm so used to guide wires when you set up tents and, and canopies that you put as from when I was a Boy Scout you would tie out two lines at 45 degree angles and that's kind of what's going through my head as I was setting this up but that's not how it worked you just basically again straighten those aluminum poles and, and you're done I'm now pulling out I'm looking at how to uh, get the extension and this is where I make a mistake 
I should not have been pulling this thing out right now. I totally forgot about the next step. So I start pulling this out and I shouldn't have been pulling this thing out right now. I forgot a key step. Um, what I should have been doing is there's, there's this is me doing, finally figured out what I should have been doing. So I, one, I pulled the camper up a little bit forward because a little bit too close to my garage. And there's these four support poles and the black ones go in the back and the ones that are white go out in the front and they just make a little triangle. And so that way as you pull, it's like a sled and you, as you pull it out the bed, it, it rests on the, on those triangle supports, which makes a lot of sense. I was trying to put the triangle supports in after I pulled the beds out and that was, that was not the right idea at all. So once you get these triangle supports in, it makes it so much easier to pull that sled out on the, on the Rockwood ESP and then I also kind of figured out see look how easy that is you can you can just move the uh, now when, once they're all tight it, it's so simple to the, that front porch it shouldn't have taken me that long I, I just think you know when you, you beat yourself up sometimes they're like why didn't I think about this and figure it out but it was fun. I figured, you know, if it's that hard to do, or when it's hard like that, then you remember it better. So that's the advantage, I guess, doing it. That's what I tell myself. You know, if you just do it and it's really easy the first time, sometimes you forget the second time. So now look how easy it is for me to pull out the, the sides once I got the support rails that you're supposed to have on there to begin with. So you pull those out and then you just, it, once those are out, I kind of I was checking the canvas I was pulling out too to make sure I wasn't getting any tears. Then you just go inside, and then this part is really easy. You go in and okay, I was making sure the stream was still good. Yeah, it is. So the next part you go in and there's one bar. You find the shoe. It's like this white. It's another white hollow aluminum bar, and you just push it, and it clips on the top of the roof, and bam. You've got you've got a a queen sized camper bed. They got a special name for it. It's like a it's queen size. It's like queen but RV queen, whatever that means. So it's a pretty big bed on the on the right and left side. So I got the right side set up. Now I'm going to do the left side, and you can see I got the lights turned on. The little LED and there's four LED lights that are really bright inside there, and there's even an LED strip on the outside so at night you can turn it on and see underneath the the canopy which is also very cool um, i was all i was surprised how dark it is inside when i had the lights off i mean i put the door on this is me putting the door on but i was so i was really here's it at night and you can see there's a with with the porch light on let me go 